I have five mistakes, the top five mistakes that I see skateboarders making when they first start out. And we'll just get into it with number one, skipping tricks. So many skateboarders will get into skateboarding, they'll learn the ollie, they'll learn like a 180 or a shove it, and then they'll go, oh, you know what, I think I can kickflip now. Um, you could do that, but it'll be very frustrating and it'll make you want to quit because you won't be able to land it anytime soon because you have none of the basics. But you can't be skipping all of that or else it's going to make it a lot harder for you to learn stuff like the kickflip or any tricks after that. You really don't want to skip any tricks. You want to start off with the 180s or the shove -its and then do the 180s or the shove -its. And maybe do fakie and some nollie and switch variations of those tricks to get your foundation set up good. And once you get good with all of those, then maybe try varial flip first. I hear that it's easier for some people. So maybe try that first and then go for kick flip. And then once you get to the kickflip, you're going to have all of the foundation in order to do it correctly and you're going to get it better and a lot quicker. Number two is very controversial but it really doesn't help you whatsoever if you do it and it's called mongo pushing a lot of people will argue and say oh he's perfectly fine to mongo push which you know you can if you want to but all it's going to do is make it harder to set up when you're skating and more likely to get the board to you know when you're pushing on the back it you know you can move it this way so if you're going really fast you're pushing mongo it's going to shift and then you're going to fall off your skateboard so it's better just to avoid it all together and when you first start out a lot of people think mongo pushing is a great idea and then later down the line it makes it really hard for them to do other stuff because mongo pushing just makes everything harder i would definitely avoid doing that um, if you're already mongo pushing and you like it then whatever do whatever you want but i don't think it helps you it makes everything a lot harder so I'm, going, I'm telling you right now, avoid it if you can. And number three is not bending your knees when you're skateboarding. So many times I'm going to the skate park and there's kids skateboarding and they can't do a trick and they ask me for help and they're asking, what am I doing wrong? They're doing a kickflip and then their legs are like stiffed out and they just like, and then they, you know, they don't jump up with the board. So the board goes up to their knees and then they don't jump with it and it hits them in the knee or it flies away and then they go up like two inches off the ground and it just doesn't help. When you're skateboarding, you want to stand on your toes and as you jump up, you know, flick it and you want to bend your knees up with it so the board follows up with every trick, really. Unless it's like some weird no comply trick, then you only want to do one foot because, you know, your foot's on the ground. Number four, staying stagnant in where you're at. So, you know, I'm guilty of this. When you're skateboarding and you get comfortable with the tricks that you already know, and you know, you already, you're good at like, you know, basic stuff like all the kickflip variations, like barrel flip, hard flip, frontside flip, backside flip, and you do all those, but then that's it. You just do those a bunch of times and then you go home. And you know, you do that, that's great. You're getting good at those tricks, but you're not progressing at all. You're just doing those tricks and then going home. So, and you know, I do this and I get mad that I can't land anything other than the stuff I already know but I don't go and try to learn new stuff. I just do the stuff I already know. What I like to do to counteract this is have a list of things I want to learn better. So when I go, I do my basic warm-up stuff and then I have a list of things I want to try and get better at and learn. And that, that seems to be helping right now so far. So if you have this issue, try making a list of stuff you want to do. And the fifth and final mistake that I see every, a lot of skateboarders making is not taking advice. There's a lot of times where someone's trying to land a trick, they do the same thing over and over again, like a tray flip, and they can't catch it properly. And then someone who can tray flip comes up and tells them how to catch it. And they think, oh, I don't want to do that because it feels weird or it doesn't work for me, even though they never tried it. And they never try it. And then, you know, years down the line, they think, oh, you know what, maybe I will try it. And then it actually helps. Moral of that story is you gotta, you know, you take advice from people better than you. If you're not willing to take advice, then you're just gonna stay exactly where you are and stay stagnant. And no one wants that in skateboarding. You wanna learn new stuff. All right, that was the five mistake, top five mistakes that I see most beginner skateboarders making. Uh, if you've made any of this, these mistakes, I hope you can fix them, um, helps you grow, um, take my advice because I've been skateboarding for a long time. Yeah. And I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed this video and click on one of these two videos because they're really good videos and I think you'll like them. And I will see you guys in the next one.